Tomato fight close range. Left to right. Max, Richard, Billy, Bobby. Why are they ganging up on Richard? I don't know, but I suspect it's because it was Richard's idea to have a gigantic organic garden where we toiled in the hot sun day after day, and at the end of the summer, we had thousands of ripe tomatoes left in the field and didn't know what to do with them. Until, as you can see, we finally did. Living together as a group wasn't always this much fun. We rarely had a chance to release our pent-up feelings by pelting each other with ripe tomatoes. That was seasonal. But look at it this way. You know what it's like to live with one other person, a spouse, sibling, boyfriend, girlfriend, or simply a friend, and that means putting up with their little eccentricities. But when you add a dozen or more people all living together, you need a way to deal with it. And so we had family meetings. Every couple of weeks, we'd have a family meeting where you could air your issues and resolve it, hopefully. And since we had no leader, no boss, there was no one saying, you have to attend a family meeting. But if you weren't there, whatever the issue was to be resolved was probably going to be your fault. One of the most useful things we learned by living together, always blame the person who isn't in the room. Because they're not there to defend themselves. And once you have someone to blame, you can move on to more important things like, how are we going to make any money? As the 70s continued, more people became interested in starting a commune, and as they did, articles about communes failing became more frequent. In our case, the Zebers, we were never formed as a commune, we were formed as a business, where we all lived together. But oh boy, did we learn a lot about communal living. Oof. To live together, somewhat peacefully, you have to deal with each other's strange moods and quirks. So if you ever decide to start one, form the commune around the people you have, not around some lofty ideal of what you think a commune should be. Do I recommend joining or starting a commune? Why not? Life is short, what the hell? And look at all the juicy stories you'll have to tell.